Can a solid state drive improve the overall speed and performance of your PlayStation 3? We're going to find out together in this video. We'll test performance by installing several discs directly onto the internal hard drive of a PlayStation 3 and then swap out the original drive with a solid state drive and do the same. To find out if the games are going to load faster or if you'll just hit the speed limits of yesterday's PlayStation 3 drive bus technologies. You'll get the answers to these questions by the end of this video and it all starts right now. Solid state technology has revolutionized the way we store data in our devices. It's made it possible for us to store data on technology with no moving parts, increasing reliability and reducing heat. This has also made it possible to move data at faster speeds than were possible with moving parts like magnetic platters and drive heads. This is fantastic and all, but with the PlayStation 3 there's an important bottleneck we need to discuss involving the serial ATA or SATA drive connector. Today's contemporary 2.5 inch solid state drives like the ones that go on laptops are all based on the SATA 3 standard of 600 megabytes per second maximum, but the PlayStation 3 is based on the SATA 1 standard of 150 megabytes per second. What this means for you is if you go out and buy one of those fancy 2.5 inch solid state drives, it can only work at about one quarter of its total rated speed. But all hope is not lost, because if the hard drive that's already installed in the PlayStation 3 is slower than the SATA 1 speed maximums, well then, there's still some gain to be had. Let's check that. I pulled the original hard drive from my PlayStation 3 and put it into a SATA dock and connected it to a Mac. And here's what I found. With the disk speed test from Blackmagic, it had a 44.7 write speed and a 73.8 megabytes per second read speed. It's not really a big surprise that Sony put an underperforming hard drive in the PS3 because most of the gameplay is read from the Blu-ray disc and not the hard drive itself. Nevertheless, there's still some performance gain to be had here because we can get probably up to twice the theoretical maximum on the read speed and about three times the write speed. So I grabbed a solid state drive I had at the house and ran it through the same test. This time I got 192.4 megabytes per second write speeds and 414.1 read speeds. This drive can easily hit the maximums of the SATA 1 interface in the PlayStation 3. To say whether or not the solid state drive has any impact on performance, you have to basically remove the Blu-ray disc drive from the equation. I used this jailbroken PlayStation 3 and dumped three game discs over to first the hard drive and then tested the game load speeds and then copied the same games over to the solid state drive and then tested the load times from the solid state drive. This also has the benefit of testing whether or not it will reduce time dumping disks over to the PlayStation 3 if you use a solid state drive internally as opposed to the internal hard drive. Here are the three test candidates. Tron Evolution at 4.60 GB, Batman Arkham City at 7.52 GB, and The Last of Us at a whopping 30.19 GB, small, medium, and large. With a small size game like Tron Evolution, the results were not particularly impressive. With the SSD, the disk copied over in 14 minutes and 28 seconds, and with the original hard drive, 14 minutes and 59 seconds. And they weren't remarkably better with Batman Arkham City either. With the solid state drive, it was 18 minutes and 25 seconds, and with the hard drive, 19 minutes and 1 second. And it was uncanny how close the two were between the solid state drive and the hard drive when dumping over a large game like The Last of Us. There was only a 3 second difference between the two. What I think this means for you is, if you're planning to dump your original disc over to your PlayStation 3, the bottleneck for speed won't be the SATA connection, it will actually be the Blu-ray drive itself. So basically, there's no benefit to having a solid state drive as opposed to an original mechanical drive here. But what about those load time tests? I tested each of these three games by pressing the X button from the launch menu all the way up to the time it takes to get to the first frame for press start. And here's how they performed. Tron Evolution loaded about 6% faster from the press of the X button to the first showing of press start at 1 minute and 31 seconds with the solid state drive and 1 minute and 37 seconds with the original PlayStation 3 drive. Batman Arkham City saw a 24% load time decrease from the press of the X button to the first showing of the press start message. With only 28 seconds on the solid state drive compared to 34 seconds on the original PlayStation 3 hard drive. And The Last of Us saw the greatest decrease in load times from the solid state to the hard drive. In this case, it was 41% decrease in load time. 57 seconds for the solid state drive from the press of the X button to the press start message compared to 1 minute and 23 seconds for the mechanical hard drive. 
So in the end analysis, should you pony up about double the price for a solid state drive compared to a mechanical hard drive for your PlayStation 3? If you're planning to dump the games to your internal hard drive and play them right off that drive, I would say yes because you'll see some performance benefits that you can use. But if you're going to play your games with the original disc, I'd say just stick with the original style of hard drive, the 2.5 inch laptop mechanical hard drive. And if you want to learn how to replace that aging hard drive in your PlayStation 3 with a contemporary mechanical or solid state drive, check out this video here to learn how to get it done. It's shown on screen in the desktop browsing experience and it's linked in the description and pinned comment below. I'll look forward to seeing you there in the next video.